Hi guys! We had a pallet left over from our lawn delivery and decided to make some use of it. We could use another planter in our backyard, so that's what we did. I will leave a link below to an article about safety when reusing pallets. After sanding the pieces down, we used one and a half inch nails to put them all together. There were still a few gaps in the planter, so we got another pallet. It's quite easy to find them online and they're usually free. It can be a bit tricky to get the planks out without splitting the wood. I had bad luck with radishes last year. I only got a lot of leaves and no bulbs. I believe good soil is an important factor to succeed. Let's make a nice mixture for the radishes. You can also just use some good potting soil. We were in lockdown, so decided to use what we had. We added garden soil from last year. We removed stones and sticks as they can interfere with the straight root growth. Root vegetables don't need a lot of nitrogen. Potassium and phosphorus are the major requirements for them. Phosphorus and nitrogen can be found in bone meal. Also added some sand as root crops benefit from it. You can work a light coating of wood ashes into your soil before planting to ward off root maggots and slugs. Wood ashes also contain potassium missing from the bone meal. Root crops like cool weather. Direct seed into the garden in spring when the soil temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. We cover the planter with a plastic cover for a couple of days to improve germination rate and also protect the seedlings in case of a harsh frost. <laughs> 